Good morning children. Welcome back to our English session. Today I am going to take up the chapter A Little Fish Story which is in unit 4. Now this lesson is about a fish who feels unhappy because of its small size. He feels that the big fish are lucky to be big in size. However, the small size proves to be a blessing for the little fish. Now let us see how it proved to be a blessing to the little fish. Little Fish Story There are a great many million fish in the seas. But this story is about just one of them and a very small one at that. Now children, have you ever been to a sea or an ocean? Okay, have you seen fish in the sea or ocean? Okay, how many fish you have seen? Ten? Hundred? Thousand? No, there will be many million fish in the seas. Million, what is million? Yeah, million, one million is equal to ten lakhs. So, there are many million fish in the seas. But, here we are going to talk about a little fish out of the million fish. Okay. Now here you can see the small fish. We are going to talk about this fish. Now this little fish had everything in the seas to make him contented. Contented means satisfied. But he was not happy. You will laugh when I tell you why he was not. He was unhappy because he was so very small. So here, this fish, little fish, it is having everything in the sea to make him satisfy. But this little fish was not happy. Why children do you know? Because of its size. This little fish is very small. That's why it is very unhappy. Now, it is very hard to be such a little mite of a fish. He would say over and over again. If I were only larger, how much happier I could be. And he said it so many times that I think he believed it. So this little fish Number of times it used to say that how happier I would be if I were a large fish, if I was big in size. So it used to say number of times. Now that's why you can see here it is sitting very sad. Now one day he was swimming along with the rest of his school and thinking no doubt how much more the larger fish had to be thankful for than he when suddenly with no warning they found themselves in the meshes of a great net. Now here, one day this little fish it was swimming with the rest of his school. So, school, what is school, children? In the collective nouns, you have learned a group of fish is called a school. So, here, this little fish, it is swimming with the rest of its school, rest of its, rest of the fish. So, what happened? Suddenly, a fisherman came and without any warning, he brought his net mesh 
and it tried to catch so many fish in the net as you can see in the picture see the fisherman he brought his mesh or the net and you can see so many fish they got caught in the net there was much floundering and splashing as the net was drawn up out of the water into the sunlight now what happened this big fish so along with the big fish this little fish also got caught in the net so this big fish they trying to come out of the net that is floundering was struggling in the mesh to come out of the net so this little fish it managed to come out of the net can you tell the children uh, why it came out i mean how it came out yeah because of its small size it could come out and there has this big fish they were unsuccessful in coming out because of its big size okay children and just as its hole was being emptied into the boat the smallest fish in the school wriggled through the mesh and slipped back into the cool clear water how good it felt now in the picture you can see the big fish they were unable to come out of the net whereas the small fish it managed to come out of the net because of its small size he swam here and there and everywhere and some of the fish who knew him well all the rest of his life said that they never again heard him say that he wished to be anything but a little fish so children now this little fish it understood that how lucky it was to be little because it managed to come out of a fisherman's net and from that onwards it never said that it is little or it is small okay children did you understand the lesson now can you tell me what is the moral of this story what did you learn from this lesson yes rely on your own strength and be contented with what you have okay now new words million floundering meshes hall contented splashing emptied wriggled warning now coming to the new words meanings and their usage in sentences one million equal to the product of thousand and thousand that is 10 lakhs next sentence there are more than a million stars in the sky floundering to struggle in mud or water sentence the fish was floundering in the fisherman's net meshes a network of wires or thread to catch hold of something sentence the fish got caught in the meshes of a great net hole a quantity of something sentence they escaped with haul of jewelry contented satisfied or thankful i was contented with my final result splashing sound made by something falling into any liquid sentence the fish was splashing in the fresh water emptied clear to remove its contents sentence my lunch box is always emptied by my friends 
wriggled to twist their body back and forth. Sentence Earthworms wriggle in the mud. Warning Threatening An advice on a serious note given in advance. Sentence Police issued a warning about fake notes. Now coming to question and answers. How many fish are there in the sea? There are a great million fish in the sea. Why was the little fish unhappy? The little fish was unhappy because he was so very small. Now what happened to the fish one day? One day the fish got caught in the meshes of a great net. Why was the fish thankful to be a little fish? The fish was thankful to be a little fish as he was able to come out of the meshes of the net because of its small size. Now coming to the textbook exercises. Look at the pattern and fill in the blanks. So these are the past forms of verbs. All these are verbs and you have to write the past form. So one is done for you. Catch, caught. And what is the past form of swim? Yes, swam. Buy, bought, teach, taught, content, contented, wish, wished, see, saw. Fight, fought. Now fill in the blanks with the right word from the box. Paper, flowers, water, matches, cows, oats. Now these are collective nouns. Now here, a glass of, come on select, which is the correct word? Yes, water. A box of? Matches, a sheet of paper, a bunch of flowers, a herd of cows, a pack of oats. Next, let's write. Look at the following sentence. If I were only larger, how much happier I could be? So, looking at this sentence, you have to frame the sentence is below using the words given in the box taller, thinner, smaller, cleverer, younger, older. Now, these are what are these? Can you tell me, children? Yeah, these are comparative degrees. In degrees of comparison, you have learnt, isn't it? Suppose if you take tall, tall, taller. Tallest. So, taller is the comparative degree. Now, here see the first one. If I were only dash, how much happier I could be? So, what is this? Can you tell me? Yes, taller. If I were only taller, how much happier I could be? Now, next. If I were only, come on, try. Yes, thinner. How much happier I could be? If I were only smaller, how much happier I could be? If I were only cleverer, how much happier I could be? If I were only younger, how much happier I could be? If I were only older, how much happier I could be? Okay, children. Now, say aloud these words. Blunder, thunder, flounder, wonder, plunder. Now, this is a song time. Singing or crying. Mahesh sings a little song. Venkatesh looks at him. Why are you crying, Mahesh? He asks. Mahesh says, I am not crying. I am singing an English song. 
Okay. Now looking at this, you have to fill the below blanks. Now choose the right words. Mahesh sings a dash song. Tell me, children, long or little? Yes, correct, little song. Venkatesh dash at him. Looks or shouts? Yes, looks at him. Venkatesh thinks Mahesh is dash. Crying or laughing? Yes, crying. Now, Mahesh is dash a song. Singing or sing? Singing. The song is in dash. Telugu or English? Yes, it is in English. Now, thank you children. Meet you in the next session.